Hi folks, this is Andy Skinner from Nebadon.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do real-time pattern recognition using Metastock's Zenith real-time data. On my screen, you can see I have the RAMP program installed. That is the actual pattern recognition scanner. I also have the ICON or Zenith system installed on the computer. Zenith does not have to be running. It simply has to be installed. I'll start by running the RAMP program, and RAMP will actually open the Zenith data directly. I have the RAMP program open now. In step one, I have selected Zenith real-time world market data. In step number two, I'm going to first select the time frames that I'm interested in. That would be time per bar. I'm going to select everything but the one minute bar. So I'm doing five minute through weekly bars. The next step is to select the symbols I'd like to scan. And I can click on select symbols. In this case, I will scan the NASDAQ 100 symbols. With that done, I'm ready to start a scan. I'll move over to step three, where it says select a scan. And I'll just start from the top. I'll start with a very simple trend line scan. And remember, we're doing 100 symbols on 10 different time frames. Right now, it's showing me everything that is trending on a trend line. The trend line scanner is very versatile. It'll do bearish, bullish. It'll do breakout and retest. Every scan in the RAMP program works on real-time data on any time frame. I'll click the Fibonacci scanner. I'll start a scan, and again, this is icon data, and it's showing all the Fibonacci relationships that it's finding on every time frame on 100 symbols. See how fast and easy this is. Let's click on patterns. I have cup and handles, head and shoulders, high pullbacks, completed W bottoms, early forming bottoms and M tops. This is a really popular scan. It finds W bottoms and end tops at the end of the third leg before the pattern's really even completed. My early W bottom and M top has been selected. I'm going to do both bearish and bullish and use highs and lows or even some other MACD settings. It would take hours to show you every option in this program. But these are some forming W bottoms and M tops, and they're all done on real-time data. I can go to Bob Charts. Bob Charts are simply support and resistance lines on every chart. I'll click that, and here I'm using Zenith data in real time, and it's showing me fully automatic support and resistance lines. It is my opinion that nobody should ever put money down on a trade until they've at least looked at the Bob Charts, and they know exactly where the support and resistance values are. There are many different MACD divergence scans you can run on Zenith data. I set a value of 534.5, just one of my favorite MACD settings. I'll do just a simple bullish divergence scan. The green line shows where the price would be if it were following MACD. So the steepness or the green line is actually a measurement of MACD divergence. I'll click the More button, and we'll go over into some of the many other pattern recognition scans that you can do on this real-time data. There's a linear regression module, fully functional linear regression in real time. Also notice, and this is very important, that there's a loop checkbox here. If I check loop, you can set up a scan and have it run continuously all day long. You can even have the output sent to Internet Explorer so that you can scroll through the results and just have it sit and run 24 hours a day, even on Forex if you like. Here are more MACD scans. I won't run any of these. Just be aware that there are actually 12 different MACD divergence scanners that you can run directly on Zenith data in real time. Uh, Darvis Box Scanner. If you're familiar with Darvis Boxes, this is a very popular scan. And you can run it in real time on Zenith data. And here we have the symbols hitting new highs forming Dar Darvis Boxes. In the Stochastic Scanner, I can put in the stochastic values I want. I can put in the threshold lines I want. You can see I'm finding stocks that have high and low stochastics, all in real time with Zenith data. Once more, I'm going to click on More, and that brings us down to the ABCD zigzag. Again, Zenith data, and I will click Start Scan. I want to run through every one of these scans to show you that they all work in real time. These are simple zigzag setups. 
you can see over here the time frames they'll vary from uh, here's a five minute ten minute daily one week because I asked for all nine time frames you obviously don't have to request that you can do real-time Ikimoku cloud scanning I'll just do show all cloud charts and here we find Ikimoku cloud setups in real time and it's going to find quite a few of them because I've asked for all its setups there's a total of seven cloud scans that you can do right in real time on your own Zenith data now this is one of my favorite ones the price channel scanner there are a lot of inputs to the price channel scanner I'm not going to go through that there are help buttons on everything here I'm finding real-time channels using Zenith data very easy very fast you're watching this in real time there's a full-blown moving average scanner, an ADX scanner. You can put in moving average rules. You can have up to five rules for moving averages so that you can actually have relationships with up to 10 moving averages. You can also add ADX rules and do ADX, directional indicator scanning. I only have a single moving average rule set up here. I can click on this checkbox and add another rule if I like. This is a very popular scanner, the Bollinger Band Keltner Squeeze. I'll just click that I want a Bollinger Band Keltner Squeeze. I want the top break and maybe a bottom break. Also, just generic Bollinger Band scanning also. And I'll click Start Scan. Here we have scans for the Bollinger Keltner Squeeze. And of course, I didn't require a breakout. I'll close that and I'll just turn that off saying I only want top or bottom breaks. Start scan. Real-time Zenith data with a world-class pattern recognition scanner is amazing. It's easy, it's fast, and it's a joy to do. Here's the Elliott Wave Scanner. I'm going to find end of down wave 5. That just happens to be my favorite one. Now there it found a 5-wave pattern. Raw stores, 5 minutes into wave 5. Back to our list of scanners. There is a full-blown fundamental scanner. That doesn't have anything to do with real-time data, so I won't go there. Here are island reversals. Let's see if we can find some island reversals. I'll just hit Start Scan. There's one right there, really nice little island reversal. Here's an RSI divergence scanner. Here we have some RSI divergence. Won't spend much time on that, but pretty popular scan. Flags and pennants. I'm looking for bullish. I got a minimum pole height in price percent. I want a 2% pole height. Maximum number of bars to form the pole, one. Let's allow the pole to be formed by two bars. I'm not going to require breakout. I just want bullish poles. Start scan. Let's just see what we find. Here we go. Here's some flags. And bear in mind, this is Zenith, real-time data. And so if you look over here, you can see all the various time frames that these are coming in at. And I'm running this in the middle of the day. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon here in the Pacific Coast. Here's a six-point reversal. I'm looking for bullish. And here we have six-point reversal patterns. There's a cup and handle scanner that I haven't shown you yet. Patterns. Select a pattern. Let's do a cup and handles. And here are our cup and handle patterns. Here's head and shoulders. And here are some nice head and shoulders setups. I could go on showing you more scans, but it's time to wrap up this video. If you did not see the special scan you would like in this video, just contact me, Andy, at nevidon.com, and we can talk about adding your custom scan. Ramp auto updates with new scans all the time. If you do not yet have Zenith data, go to the link shown here and get your first three months of Zenith for the price of one. This is Andy Skinner at nevidon.com, and I'll see you in the next video.